You wanted the best, but you got the best. The hottest band in the world. Black Sabbath. Smack them a garbage Black Sabbath Sunday. And this is a donation from Joseph Manella, who wanted me to put Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Uh, the album versus the first Iron Maiden album. Now, here's the deal. Uh, Joseph sent me this on Friday. So I'm doing this on Saturday and I'm putting it up tomorrow on Black Sabbath Sunday. But Black Sabbath Sunday has already been, uh, it's chock full of stuff that tonight, man. Because at 12, I got a donation. Then at, uh, at 2, I got another donation. Then at 4 p.m., I got another Joseph Manella donation. And then tonight on the only news that matters at 6 p.m. Eastern time, a story of Ian Gillen saying that Black Sabbath is more important than Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple. So tune in for that and tune in now. Don't leave because I'm about to start this for Joseph Manella. All right, I got to tell you, man. After doing this, it was very, very painful, the outcome for me. And I'll explain why when we get there, if I remember. All right, we start with the song Sabbath Bloody Sabbath versus Prowler. Both amazing openers, but there is only one, Tony Iommi. And that song, those riffs, not just riff, opening riff, middle riff, ending riff, godly, it wins. All right, next. Uh, National Acrobat versus Remember Tomorrow. Ooh. This was so painful. I did come up with one, but I was like, fuck. The winner of that one's Remember Tomorrow. Yeah, that hurt, but I give it, it to Remember Tomorrow. God, and I love National Acrobat so much. All right, next. Fluff versus Running Free. I'm getting it to Running Free. And I love fluff, but you know, running free rocks, man. It wins. All right, next. Sabra Cadabra versus Phantom of the Opera. I gotta go with Phantom of the Opera, man. It's the best song on, no, second best song on this album, in my opinion. I have to run, uh, remember tomorrow. All right, so yeah, I'm giving another one a maiden. All right, now we flip the albums over and we got. Oh, and by the way, this is not the version that we all got in the United States with the song Sanctuary. Sanctuary is not on this version for the songs to match up. So, yeah, um, Killing Yourself to Live versus Transylvania. Love them both, but I'm going with Killing Yourself to Live, man. All right, next, Who Are You versus Strange World. I love Who Are You, though I'm going with Strange World. Strange World is awesome. I totally dig that song. But yeah, I gotta go with um, with uh, which one? Strange World. Yeah, that's it. Strange World. I'm getting to that. All right, next. Uh, looking for today versus Shot at the Heart. Tell me, oh man, definitely Shot at the Heart. man, love. I mean that that song really does showcase why I think Paul Diano is the best Iron Maiden singer. That middle section, the little mellow part of that song, that's my favorite Maiden singer right there. All right, then we end it with Spiral Architect versus the song Iron Maiden. Spiral Architect wins, man. I mean, come on. That song's a freaking masterpiece. What is it about old Sabbath fans? You know, just to let you all know, because, you know, I, I've heard these stories from many people. That old Sabbath fans, like, you know, some younger guys will tell me. Yeah, my dad, he only likes Sabbath up to Sabbath Buddy Sabbath. And I've heard that from a lot of different people. Like, if you're old school Sabbath from back then, most of them, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them stop at Sabbath Buddy Sabbath. And to me, that's odd because sabotage is so badass. What the hell happened? I don't get it myself, but... Hey, it's the weird thing about the, you know, the other generations before me. They feel like they peaked at Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Shit. I don't think so, but whatever. Uh, did I say? I don't think I did. I'm going to say it now. Joseph, 
This is the final score. There you go. That's why I was shocked, man. Maiden won, you know, by two extra points against Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. That's amazing to me. But that's because it's Iron Maiden with Deano. That Those two albums were special. There ain't no other Maiden album other than the first album and, and, uh, and Killers. You know, no other Maiden album can beat Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. I really... Highly, highly doubt that. But I haven't done like Number of the Beast, Peace of Mind, Power of Slave versus, you know, these albums. But so I can't tell you. But I can tell you that I'm not surprised that the Anno Era won. I'm just not surprised. There's something very special about those two albums, man. You know, if, if, if Iron Man was to end right there with those two albums, they'd probably be like really high on my list of greatest bands ever. But anyway, hey, that's it. Thank you so much again, Joseph Manella, and everybody watching. Thank you all. And Joseph, I got your other uh, donation coming up later. And I got two other donations in between that. And of course, the only news that matters after that. It's a chock full of Black Sabbath Sunday this week, everybody. And thank you all. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, and ring that little notification bell. Leave your comments below about Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath versus the first Iron Maiden album. I would love to know. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.